This is a review of Cohere's Coral Toolkit, which is a set of components for developers to build and deploy RAG applications. So basically what this is, is a Next.js app with a SQL database out of the box that stores all your chat history and documents and citations. And it interacts with LangChain to retrieve Wikipedia data. And if you're developing locally, you don't have to use LangChain or you can use other retrievers within LangChain to retrieve from sources other than Wikipedia. You can also upload your own documents such as PDFs or text files. You can also plug in models hosted on Azure, AWS, or the Cohere platform. And you can run this locally as well. So it's an open source toolkit. And if we go to the GitHub repo, we can see how to use this thing. They've made it available as a Docker container. So if you have Docker installed and Docker Compose, you can just run this command with your Cohere API key, which I'll show you how to get in a minute. And it will launch the interface in a web browser on port 4000. As I mentioned, you can also run it locally, but there's a number of things that you have to install, including Xcode, Docker Desktop, Homebrew, Pipx, Miniconda, Poetry, Lots of very large and time-consuming installs. So we're just going to use the Docker container for now. And I should note that this takes quite a long time the first time you pull this container. Um, there's some very large files in here, maybe 15, 20 gigs. But you can see once all of this is done, deploys, and we get on localhost 4000, this interface here. To get an API key, go to cohere.com. Go to the section for developers, register for an account, and then in your dashboard, go to this API keys section and create a trial key. You don't need a production key. So the trial key is free. So let's just start with a simple chat. I've asked it about the EU AI Act, gives me a response. And now you see I have my chat logged here, so I could pick this up later. I can search through it. I can edit it. If you haven't heard of or used Langchain, it's sort of the glue between a lot of the AI building blocks that you'll need to integrate with when you're building an AI application. You can see some of those components here in this diagram. And one of those things that they provide is a retriever. And a retriever allows you to go and get information from a source and run it up against an AI model to get responses. So here's a list of a bunch of the retrievers that they have. You can see they've got a lot, Google Drive, PubMed, the SEC, and they've got one here for Wikipedia. Let me show you how to implement that in code. But Cohere has already done all that work for you. If we look at the source code of this Wikipedia retriever, we can see that it's wrapping the Wikipedia API and so when we make a query as a user, it's going to go fetch a document from Wikipedia and perform RAG on that document. So what's RAG, you say? Well, let's ask Wikipedia. So it gives us a response and it lists the references to where these can be found in Wikipedia. Theoretically, anything with an API could be a source of retrieval. But I actually want to chat with my own document. So let's upload that. And now we'll ask a question about something in that document. It's going to vectorize that document and provide a response. And there you go. You can see we're using the file reader, but in addition to that, we have the Wikipedia tool, which we've already used, Python interpreter, so it can give us answers about code and a calculator that it can use. And you could enable all of these if you wanted to use them in this chat here. Here's where we select our model. These are Cohere models on the Cohere platform. If we wanted to find models that are on a different platform, such as Azure, we could choose that here. And then temperature, which is the degree to which the model adheres to the source text versus diverges from it. And some people call it the AI's level of creativity. And this preamble here is what some people would refer to maybe as prompt engineering, where you give the model some base level of instruction to apply to any message coming into this chat box here. Here's our conversations. I can rename them.
And if I were to stop my container and run it again, our chats are no longer there. So you need to keep it running. So I'll do a follow-up video on using this locally, but the instructions are in the GitHub repo. I'll post a link in the description. You can see you can deploy your own models. We'll even run local models with Llama CPP. And you can call the backend as an API. So you could theoretically integrate your own interfaces for chat or integrate this into an existing application of yours by hitting that endpoint. So that's the Coral Toolkit from Cohere. If you're using this in a creative way, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching.